again. What's up, YouTube? Nate here. Lester. <laughs> Trying out some new stuff. We are back again. Same clothes as last time you saw us, probably, but we are doing the pickup video for the day. There's like six of us or five of us going out one day, which is really cool. And we all found something. Yes, which is really dope. Crazy. Lester still has to do a pickup video for his PS3 collection. I'm waiting until I get 100, but I'm happy there. How are you going to shoot a 100 pickup video? I don't know. It's Maybe a lot. Maybe just a row. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Up. A and C Pawn. He actually gave this to me for free. Super Star Wars. Only problem is, is it had a big crack here at the bottom. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but it was free. He was about to throw it. I'm like, yo, yo, wait, wait. Can I have it? It still works. It just, it's cosmetic, I think. And also picked up from there, this is when 64B uh, Matthew pointed this out, Mischief Makers. I got, it says $11 on top, but I pretty much got this for, if you average it out, $7.50 with everything else I got that day. So not a bad pickup. It's one of the few 2D games for the N64, because N64, there's a real big push for everything 3D, right? Yep. Back then. But this one actually was a 2D game, which made it unique from all the other N64 games. And uh, I was also happy to pick up this. Yakuza Dead Souls, dedicated to the Sega stoner who loves Yakuza. Hey, maybe I got this for uh, this one would be 750 as well. If you price out what I got, 15 bucks, so not a bad deal. It looks really fun. The thing I heard about this, the zombies are pretty hard to kill. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I've never played it. If you've played it, please comment. Let me know. What's really cool about when Ian and I went, you know, when you go to a pawn shop and you barter, it's always easy to barter if you have a large stack of stuff. So instead of doing separate sales for me and Ian, we just put like They're eight together. in together. Yeah, we'll eight here, and we'll go, whoa, will you give me a deal for this? And we just divided it accordingly, but uh, pick this one up. This average is up to 333, because three games are 10 bucks. Mega Man, the anniversary edition for uh, GameCube. Is that like your fifth copy? This is, well, the second one I have right now. Oh, okay. I've sold the rest, but this is a solid $20 game here. I think I get $6 trading for it, which I'm not going to be trading it in, but Happy to have it again. And uh, completing my Time Crisis collection. I think this is the last one I need. Time Crisis, Crisis Zone. Well, all the Time Crisis games from PS1 and PS2. I'm not counting Time Crisis 4 on the PS3 because that's, that's different. So, uh, yeah, $3.33 for this game. Deals. Deals. Oh, man. I remember when I bought that brand new for Missing 60 the manual. bucks with the Did gun you? con. No way. <laughs> that's crazy. And the last $3.33 game I got, Batman Begins. That's why I didn't pick it up today. When we went to the thrift store, it was up there. So. All for like eight bucks. Yeah. <sighs> Missing the manual again, but hey, Batman. I'm sure it's no Arkham City or Arkham Asylum, but I'm, hopefully it's good. Well, these will average out to $3.33 each again. Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble. I think they said this was like the Super Smash Brothers version of Beautiful Joe, which I don't have. So technically, the only Beautiful Joe game I'm missing it's Beautiful Joe 1 for the GameCube. Do There's you have Beautiful Joe 1 on the PlayStation? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. But it doesn't count. No. It has to be a per console. It has to be on the first game. <laughs> I have this for the uh, Xbox, but this one is complete in case. $3.33 <sighs> for BMX X, X, X. This guy has the Playboy game and uh, what I don't have they the Playboy call game. I have the Guy, the guy game. game. <laughs> I have BMX XX. I don't know what it's worth, but I mean, I love games that are ridiculous for whatever reason. <coughs> And this just seems like a stupid concept. Let's see. Uh, Ian recommended Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Actually, I'm missing this one for the PS2. Now I have like all three parts of Lord of the Rings. One, two, and three. Well, it's not three. It's one. Well, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I have all three Lord of the Rings, Fellowship, Return of the King, and what was the middle one again? To Two Towers. I have all three of them now. Everyone's going to be ragging on me now because I didn't remember the name of Two Towers, I bet. You're not a real geek. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch Lord of the Rings? You didn't, did you? Yes, I did. What did you think of it? I liked it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Galarian's yeah. Ash for the PS2. Yeah. $3.33. Can I, is it a good game or no? It is a very good game. Is it? I uh, put a lot of hours into that one. Oh man, real-time battles in 60 frames per second. Woohoo! That was a big deal. That's a big <laughs> deal, man! <laughs> and for the Thrift Dweller pickup of the week. <laughs> That's not the song. No, it's not. Uh, this is Thrift Dollar Pickup of the Week because it's from a good friend of ours, Ian Beardman. If you haven't checked out his first pickup video, check it out. I'll put a little P in P here or here, whatever. Um, he gave this to me out of the goodness of his heart. It's uh, actually me and Ian have a shared love for Final Fantasy 2 in North America, which is Final Fantasy 4 in Japan. 
And uh, he got this for me from eBay. It's a complete in box Super Famicom version of Final Fantasy 2, which is Final Fantasy 4. I wish we had this art. This art looks Simplest. so much cooler. I love, I would love this on my shirt. Simplistic art like that. Just yeah. wow. And uh, Ian got it for me. It is complete in box. And I'm sure, you know what? If you're really, if you're a big video game guy, please comment below and tell me all the differences that you can think of at the top of your head that are different from the North American release compared to the Japanese release. I got a couple in my mind, but I'll let you guys comment. But the most interesting one I thought was the name of the Spoonie Bard. For some reason, I knew his name was Gilbert, even though I knew his name was Edward in North America. Oh, Edge is still Edge. I thought Edge was Edward. Oh well. Anyways, I can't read the crap out of all this kanji. I'm sure uh, Trevor or uh, Sofa2... Soft Otaku. Is that his name? Yep. There you go. Shit. I feel bad. Sorry, Soft Otaku. And, of course, the original Thrift Dweller from Japan. Kid Shoryuken. Shoryuken. <laughs> um, if anyone knows, though, uh, because of the differences between the American and Japanese version, is, is there a patch for the Japanese ROM? You know, just, you know, translated from just the original Japanese version? Because I know they cut stuff out, right? Like, the American like hackers who just translate? Just a translated version uh, of the Japanese. If you played one, I would be very interested in that one. Me too. I know this one's supposed to be harder. We will download the ROM. Maybe I should check my hard drive. Yeah, we'll go check. <laughs> check my hard drive for the ROMs later. <laughs> which, <laughs> which we do not support. Yeah. Keeping physical media alive. Yeah. Thrift dweller mandate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you remember our old logo. Yeah. See? Anyways. It would be nice to play that in its original form. Yeah, it would be. So now I can finally put it on the shelf. In harmony. That's all our pickups for this week. What are your thoughts, Lester? It's been a good couple of weeks, actually. Yeah, this last month has been just quality. And it's been like that. I don't know, yeah, for the last yeah. month. It's just weird. It just happened out of nowhere. All the games I wanted, like I have a wanted list in here. And I, I, I wrote it down somewhere else, but they just pop up. And even Lester, he recently picked up 600, 600 CDs in one purchase. And all of a sudden the thrift store is piling up with CDs he needs. Yeah, it's weird. And like PlayStation 3 games at the pawn shop and stuff, yeah. they're mega cheap and it's stuff I'm actually looking for. So it's like, what the heck is going on? I don't know. Alright, so from me, Nate, Lester. thank you guys very much for watching. Peace. He's awake now, but he was sleeping a minute ago, I swear. Hey, did Retro Hungry quit? I don't know. Why? What's so funny? Okay, so Lester just explained to me what happened to Retro Hungry. No hate. I will never start a YouTube beef or anything. No, I don't know. If you know what happened to Retro Hungry, please comment below.